This is video blog post number two in the diary of the volcanologist from Stromboli where we're on our combined drone and UV camera campaign. So here we are at the summit again. Now it's a little bit gassy at the moment but you can see there are kind of four main degassing areas and various areas where individual explosions come from. Now I'll embed all sorts of uh, explosion videos at the end of this post so you can see what's going on. So what we're interested in is how the degassing from each vent varies and whether we can distinguish any different ratios and whether there are any different fluxes of gas out of each of these. And one of the only ways of doing this is by flying a drone through the plume in the distance. So I've been up to the summit of Stromboli a fair few times and something which has not really struck me before is how dynamic the activity up here can be. So I've observed um, Strombolian eruptions here before a fair few times but this time even between the days we're seeing different activity between different craters, um, different things happening out of the, sort of the fumaroles around the edges which I'll point out in an image. And this morning we saw some great spattering happening from one of these smaller craters, some smaller sort of crater areas uh, at the front. And I'm really hoping that I can time this with an explosion for you, but Stromboli, whilst being one of the most reliable places to go and do field work, although that's not what we found out two years ago when we came, or maybe it was three years ago, although it's the most reliable place to do field work, um, you can't always exactly know when something's going to happen. So that video I took at Sabankaya where you see me and the explosion at the same time, uh, it is probably not going to happen here, unfortunately. Maybe it will, but you'll see lots of videos anyway. Okay, so I think that's it from me at the summit today. Uh, I will see you again soon. Here I am, coming down very quickly from the summit after day three of measurements. Day two of measurements were not great, we were just in the cloud the whole time. Day three of measurements were slightly better, but it was pretty windy at the summit, hence the, the crazy cool hair. It might be cool for some people, I don't know. Is this cool? Let me know. Probably can't hear this anyway because of the wind. 